today is February 6th, 2022. I'm in Aruba. My name is Roger Muller. Um, I'm a reporter for Lionfish University. I own and created lionfishdivers.com. Here's a new flag just came out three weeks ago, which is uh, floating around Aruba. Yeah. This is my buddy, Rafael Flores, and we're both gonna sit here and we're gonna uh, discuss um, how to get involved in hunting lionfish. No one really knows how to start, and we're going to explain, uh, you know, a ask questions and explain what equipment to use, um, what to watch out for safety-wise, and also I mentioned that I'm a reporter for Lionfish University, so here's their beautiful flag, and now we're going to put that away. And the first question we're going to ask each other is, um, how can someone start uh, lionfish hunting? Well, I got started through my love of scuba diving and having friends that were hunting lionfish. So just the curiosity and doing something good for the environment. And if you have that passion, then ask around, ask some of the uh, people at the dive shops or in your local communities. And I'm sure they'll point you in the right direction because there's clubs and certain groups that are doing it through uh, foundations, organizations, and uh, scuba certification. Um, it, it, within the industry, there's uh, you know whether you're Patty, Naui, uh, SSI, SSI, SDI, SDI yeah, there's a bunch of different organizations, scuba organizations, associations that will support you in the uh, in hunting line fish and teach and they yeah, have, teach they you have to have do classes. Safely. So, so actually, before I started line fish hunting, I took um, Patty uh, line fish tracker. I took Patty's uh, course for uh, was uh, line fish hunter and. Um, I learned how to properly hunt lionfish. Um, why are we hunting lionfish? We're hunting lionfish because they're an invasive species. They're in the Caribbean, the Atlantic, um, Mediterranean, Gulf of Mexico. They don't belong there. They're eating all the small uh, fish. They're eating uh, baby shrimp, baby lobster. They're yeah. taking fish away from the, the large fish that feed on the smaller fish and pretty much anything fits in their mouth, they'll eat, and they eat a bunch of fish every day. Yeah. So the more we can remove, the better it is. Do you need a certain level of uh, scuba diving certification or diving experience to be a live fish hunter? That's an interesting question, yes and no. I mean, you, there's no uh, scuba police out there. So if you are a new diver, I recommend personally to, uh, get as much experience as you can as a diver, work on your buoyancy, take the buoyancy certification with any of the certification agencies out there and work on your buoyancy because you're gonna be carrying equipment you're not normally gonna carry when you scuba dive as just a, um, a regular diver. Um, you know, So it can get a little tricky depending on the type of water you're hunting. Uh, whether you're currents, currents and, uh, and waves, yeah, wave so, height. So it's really important to get some experience. I would recommend even uh, becoming maybe a spotter first. This way you get in the habit of actually going with hunters, watching what they're doing. Learn how to we, find them. Yeah, I mean. How course. they shoot them and they don't shoot the uh, spear tips into coral. Um, so like Raphael's saying, I'm an instructor and I teach, uh, I've, I've, sort of a lot, I've certified a lot of people in uh, Patty uh, buoyancy course. And the buoyancy is super important because you don't want to um, help the environment by removing lionfish and then at the same time you know, kick and break coral or there's like elkhorn corals, all different types of coral. You don't want to break the coral because it takes so many years for the coral to grow. So the thing is you want to be really careful that you're not kicking up the bottom or putting your hands on coral, uh, sh taking your spear and shooting, getting excited and, and shooting a lionfish and then breaking a nice piece of coral oh, yeah. that took like, you know, 10 years to, to build. Yeah. And uh, so buoyancy is like a really, really important thing. And um, I would say that before I, I would recommend some of my fish hunting, I would make sure you know how to use your equipment and feel comfortable in the water. And because there's currents, there's swells, there's yeah. so many situations. Yeah. Uh, no, it's something you want to do with your own gear also. Know your gear because, you know, when something fails, you know, you're going to be more familiar with it. Like I said, you're going to be carrying some extra equipment like a zookeeper, maybe one or two spears. Uh, maybe even a camera or you know, you're gonna have a lot of things that Are gonna probably get in the way at least one time or another uh, So it's definitely important that you only add maybe one piece at a time uh, Maybe only carry a spear with you 
and let somebody else carry the zookeeper and this way you know you're hunting but you're not carrying all this extra equipment that you're not used to yet um, you know that's from a safety standpoint i think that's the most important thing always dive safe 